Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and this isn't the King's house, this is Tingle's house! Yeah, so today we return to freshly picked Tingle's rosy rupee land, but we're not about to carry on with Mount Desma just yet, because we have some business here in Tingle's kitchen. You might wonder what that business is. Well, we got a new fruit recently, and I was just thinking, if we take three things from the first continent, and then two things from the second continent, and then one thing from the third continent that happens to be the only new fruit we've acquired recently, and then mix it all together? Ah, what are we gonna get? And the, uh, well, I would say that the cauldron will tell us nothing because the various juices usually tend to be green, as is Scrap Broth and Continental Pod, but as you can see, this is actually turning a rather pleasant shade of blue. Which says to me that I, once again, as is tradition, correctly guessed a recipe for Emperor Juice. Okay, maybe I had notes telling me how to do it, but the point is we're going to need some fantastic bonus juice. And I figured, since we're going to need to do some stuff in town anyway, bonus moss, because we're never going to need it, but whatever. We might as well duck into the town ever so briefly. I swear I'm not deliberately, like, avoiding going into the next dungeon. It's just, there are some things we could do. For instance... Uh, can we sell you anything? Just the Nidorians, and I know someone we could sell them to for a better price, but time and a place. Funnily enough, you're now telling us about the last emperor, and, uh, well, we'll pay you a nice 5,000 just to have the recipe in our pockets for later. My masterpiece, Emperor Juice. Dealt another recipe. Three mini oranges, three crisp tomatoes, three sour watermelons, two sour grapes, and a Nidorian. Try it yourself, you won't regret it. I don't know why I love doing her voice so much, but here we are. So yeah, as you can tell by the fact that the journalist is absent, we're gonna need that recipe pretty soon. <sighs> The peak of the Sacred Mount Despair is shrouded in mystery. I have asked the Piratas to let me go with them to the Third Continent. And that's all we have to flarp with. Anyway, Madam Scratch Card. Nope. Oh, oh, there's one. And there's one. <laughs> Canonically my worst run of one of these ever because I went in with zero inspiration, but hey, we don't... We'll have a, a reason to talk to her later down the line. For now, though, we've got an amethyst from bashing a guy's skull in, because of course. We've got a ruby from one of the pirate chests, I think. Snatched a couple of pearls, snatched a couple of weaves. There was an entire bush of these emeralds, so might as well cash all those in. Like, we don't need to do this now, but I figured since we were in the area, might as well just see how rich we can make ourselves, because we have quite a few things to be converting into the monies. Like, that's quite a lot for small crystals to be worth, bearing in mind we got them from places I don't actually remember where we got them from. We got some from some places, some from other places. You don't say, Tess. Do we have anything of value? We have the spicy prawn. We're gonna need that for later. Don't worry about it. Now you. I've not spoken to you in a while. So we can sell them the nitro bomb for a, a pleasing amount, but more importantly, well, also there's the multi-bomb fruit and not the regular bomb. Do we even have any regular bomb fruits left? That might be why they're not showing up. But the point is, Destructor Axe. We can haggle. I don't know how we've got two of them, but whatever. Anyway, the, the most he'll pay is three and a half thousand per by the each. Per by the each. As was sort of a, a, a running trend today. I can speak English, I swear. So yeah. Give me money. Like, we do not need to be this rich for what we've got coming up. It's just... Now is a convenient time to do this. And you, I feel like you're gonna buy the rainbow shells? Ooh, well, we're not gonna need the stiff beard for anything. And we won't need that shell for anything. I might as well hold on to the bone and give it to Barkle because we can. Uh, yep, sell the baby coral. Do, 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 do. Even though it's not a shark, but whatever, we'll hold on to the bone. See, we're, like this is why I made such a big deal about the grown up coral. You could just dig it up there and it's worth 3,000 a pop. Then there's the rainbow shell surprisingly not worth as much. And how do we get two of those? Did I just get one and forget about it? Because I know one of them was the treasure of Longmon Meadow, but then what about the other one? And Giant Fur, surprisingly recouping how much I spent fighting that bear, I think? Uh, wind Cutter Wings? I believe that's because wing and feather are the same word in Japanese, but don't quote me on that. Uh, ancient Coin, we found that somewhere. It wasn't really worth it, but whatever. 
standing for... Welcome to Tess Lists the Things He's Selling, the game. Now, is that everything? Of the stuff we're willing to part with, now it is. And at some point we'll just bombard her with the bamboozle grass that we're honestly never going to need for anything, but whatever. And I mean, since we're in the process of cashing in, two further things. First of all, Tinglebirds have not checked in with you in a while. How much are you going to give us? Oh my. And... Yes, Abba has seen our exploits with the pirates, but yeah, 500 rupees just for remembering that birds exist. It's worth your time to do that. And may as well do this now, because this is going to take a while to get through, it's worth a lot of money, and we haven't finished this map yet, so... We will be able to hold on to the map and still get a butt-ton of money from it as well, and actually, at this point, we can more than easily afford the next area. So, as I said, like the running themes of today were Uno cards, me not being able to speak English, and also mouthwash. I forgot the word for shower gel earlier today, and I said something like, you know, shower mouthwash water. So that was fun. But yeah, might as well break up the whole Mount Desma map turning in because there are so many statues and they're all worth 600. Apart from that one apparently that had to come up just as I was saying. Okay, maybe it's based on how high they are up on the mountain or how how easy hard they are to get to. I don't know. I'm not a statue. I was going to say I'm not a game designer, but I just went with I'm not, well I'm not a statue either. Here we go. The thought occurs, retrospectively, that perhaps I should have just cut this out or sped it up or something, but you know what? Nope, you're here with me now, and I'm just going to have to live with that. And I, I really kind of want to take the spicy prawn to its destination since we're out and about, so I'll have nothing left to procrastinate with once we get to the next dungeon, because we do have a dungeon coming up, as you know. And also, you can tell by the map, there's a, a skull right at the top of the mountain. That's not the dungeon, that's just, there is a pirate pier at 69. There is a pirate pier at the top of Mount Desma, because there just is. Live with it. But yeah, we get to keep that map, because it's not complete, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're done here, so I'll see you in a moment. Hey, you have rejoined me, and here we are on the tower. I grabbed another piece of moss, I'm gonna throw another thousand in the tower, because we are swimming in money, as Uncle Rupee would want. I say that like he's dead, he's surprisingly not dead. So... Here's the thing. I want to go and turn in the spicy prawn since we have it, because we're going to need it for... Well, we're going to need to take it to a place for reasons. I don't think, off the top of my head, we're going to need... Like, we won't be able to get more of them for a while yet, but we may as well turn it in since we're here. And you might think, oh, hey, Tess, you're in the gooey swap. Well, actually, since we're here. Valid point, hypothetical me. Have these regrown? Do they regrow? Surprisingly, yes. Well, this is useful knowledge for later. But yes, I don't remember what I was having you hypothetically say, but we're not actually here for the gooey swamp. It's just, it was quicker to head this way. Also, there's an outside chance we might run into a drifter bodyguard while we're out and about because Ronnie's out there, Yamori could be somewhere, and I don't remember how Teddy Toto works, but he's out and about too, and it would be nice to have another bodyguard soon. I'm just heading up here on the off chance that maybe uh, this is a pile of rubble. Ronnie, come and meditate at me. Give me your sweet, sweet meditations. But yes, this is the guy we need. Do you remember this guy, Mr. Super Stew, or whatever it was called? Uh, oh, we haven't actually done this yet. Okay, never mind then. Hey, you've rejoined me at the top of the tower. I'm not going to throw an extra thousand in there. So... That wasn't useless, because we did grab a couple of emeralds, but I forgot that we hadn't done his... I forget what it's called, Super Stew, whatever. But that's something we will look into. I just... I'd forgotten that I had forgotten about it. So, uh... Yeah. Now, Sod's Law will run into a, a Drifted Bodyguard on the way up the mountain just as soon as I get a bodyguard from the lower end of the mountain. Just specifically to spite me. Come on, please, I, 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 I want a powerful B.O.I. Well, whatever. But we'll grab a friend and head up the mountain because we have business to attend to. And... Hmm... Hmm... 
I guess you'll do. I just realized we don't actually have any health restoratives, so we'll just have to hope for the best. But this is Tumble. He's passive, he's medium, and he costs 3,420. So basically, blaze it three times, he says in a loose imitation of his Gina Linetti voice. But yeah, I've learned from my past mistakes. We have a passive bodyguard. I believe we're gonna need a medium bodyguard coming up anyway, so... Basically, everybody wins apart from the bodyguards that I didn't hire. But then again, this isn't the first time we've had a a, 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 a clown, I'm just realizing. Unless I'm misremembering. Because goodness knows, my brain just does not function at this point. But also, since we're in the area... Like, this has been a really rambly, really procrastinating episode, but I did promise once we got a bodyguard, we would pummel the shit out of these red gelatins for no reason other than, hey, because they're here. Um, tumble, would you mind doing your tumbly thing? Ah. Okay, so here's the thing. Those red gelatin creatures can sometimes, and also you can find them naturally around here as well, uh, that they'll drop a variation on the triangle chip that's red and super and special and still no Yamori. I just wanted to check along this really tempting flat surface, but whatever. I've been too sidetracked for too long. There's a variant of a triangle chip that's worth more, and you can play a higher stakes version of the Scratch Card game if you give one to uh, Madam Scratch Card. Also, I feel like this should be map markable. And it's not. Like, there's nothing of significance here. But my brain is telling me otherwise, but my brain is wrong. Anyway, at last, we shall head in here. This looks normal. You bring the Dorian, King will be happy. Our king loves Nidorium fruit. Make him well. I don't want. I don't want. Give me, give me rupees. Domestic abuse isn't funny, folks. Eh? King say he no want Nidorian. King changed. Mumba sad. I'm trying to go with an unexpected voice here, so uh. Mr. Kingman! Get me Ropez! Uh. Okay, have seven and a half? I got Ropez, I got Ropez, here I go. I swear this isn't why I just went on a rupee getting spree, it, it was just a convenient coincidence, but uh. Anyway? I guess we'll just. Follow Mr. Kingman. Is there anything happening over here? No. No, there is not. Everything is sad. Why is that just my random catchphrase of the moment? So, this is where things get slightly spicy with this mountain. First of all, we have a new friend. Can I get you from here? I'm gonna have to get you from the inside. And when I say the inside, I mean you can tell by the sort of indentation. No, by the markings on the map there. We've got a bit of an arena in front of us. And that's kind of why I wanted a bodyguard now of all times. And then there's that fucker. <laughs> Zero chill there, Tess. That's why we needed the, the fruit. So th this is no time for Roomba. Shout out to anyone who uh, remembers Pokemon Coliseum. Anyway, so fire does fire damage. And just be aware of that. If you run into the flames, you will take fire damage. As I demonstrated in the... See, last episode, deliberately on purpose. Deliberately on purpose, demonstrating what fire damage looks like. So... These guys. No one pass that is order from our king. We know why you here. You come to disturb our king and cause trouble. Tub what the fuck are you doing just bumbling around over there? You will pay. Say goodbye. I, d I, d I don't know why I'm making them so basic, but it, it seems less insensitive than trying to give them this, like, uncultured voice of, like, ah, oh, they don't use verbs, therefore... Wait, they're using a verb right there. I'm trying to be different and unique and original. So, basically, unfortunate kind of implications here that they work the same as the oinkers in that you have to get them to run into stuff and then absorb them into your cloud. So, have we won? Surprisingly, we beat one of them. That, that was entirely on me. I just walked into that bonfire. Tumble, could you step aside? Could you not be such a tumbler? I do question the choice of sound effects here, though, because, like, it sounds rather like it has unfortunate implications. 
Anyway, we'll just merge them both kind of politely. We won, and now we can proceed. And as you can see, there are more statues afoot. Well, they're not feet, they're full bodies, but you know. Are they all going to give us gemstones? I can't tap that one from here. Well, whatever. We can stick them both on the map from here. And also, give up. Rude. Can I get the other one from here? Can I? Just because I can't see it from here? Dumbstruck. Yeah, me at being told. Give up. Okay, so... Am I missing a statue somewhere then? Because... I feel like 88%. That feels like there should be two more, but I can't think of where they would be. Can I tap you, please? That sounds like a euphemism, so on second thoughts, maybe no. Spore powder, we know someone who will purchase that for a price. And you, what's the final prize so far? The final prize so far? God, this has been such a rambly episode. Like, we should be partway through the dungeon by now, and we're just not. But yeah, there's a pirate pier here. Yes, you can call them here. We don't need to, but we hypothetically could. Now, uh, you there, friend. It is so dark. It is silent. Where on earth am I? My head is so sorry. Is it all over for the intrepid journalist? No, until I taste her very finest juice. <laughs> Sir, I know what your tongue looks like. Stop thinking these impure thought, Impure thoughts, that too. But uh, we, we made some spicy juice. So just eat it. <laughs> Sir, you never cease to horrify me. I felt a warm breeze on my fache, just like a man's bad breath. Rude. I am a live. I expressed how happy I was with repairs. I decided to reward this fellow for his efforts. Quintuple digits. It's not quite sex. Couple digits, but it'll do. 10,000. Uh, we're we're going to need to throw most of these away in due course anyway, because we've got a dungeon coming up, and, well, you know what the tradition is vis-a-vis -vis dungeon exploring, but let's head to the very top of the mountain, volcano, question mark. The world may never know. So what's going on up here, then? I have thrown in the rupees, my god. Please bring me to Yamatami Paradise. Tingle, why? You're not part of this discussion. <laughs> Your Majesty! Are we gonna be put on trial for murdering the king? Because we didn't. That's not what just happened. I worked out the curse. I know what to do. A bad god is using bad rupee power. In this mountain, a beast guarding treasure sleeps. Open the box and good rupee power will come out. The curse will go. The Yamatami tribe will be happy again. But the Yamatami tribe fears the mountain beast. We are too scared to enter the mountain. King has ceremony with rupees he has gathered. Tingle goes in mountain. Mustang get what is that face, Tingle? What the fuck is happening in your face? Sorry I said anything. Mountain dangerous, flames dangerous. Look out, Tingle. Mambo worried. Good luck. Go for it. She believe at us. So this looks like a rather familiar setup, but uh, as we could tell, yeah, we were told that the, the king of the Amatami was serving a bad rupee god. So clearly, Uncle Rupee has a rival? Why did he not tell us about this? We would we to take out this bad guy so that they start praising the true rupee god, which is us, by way of Uncle Rupee. So, yeah, Desmo's Labyrinth. We'll start on it proper in the next episode, but we have a load of ladders. This is a very vertical dungeon. It's a... I don't think, like, it's not tedious, like, the insect cavern was tedious, but this dungeon is just a bit peculiar. What's going on down here? Is this... This is a very necessary room. Okay. Uh, well, just carry on descending so we can get to the start of the dungeon. Just pu You have a nitro bomb, Tingle, just blast your way through the wall. So, yep, just up through here is uh, the dungeon proper. 
And if we go down here, then you may recognize we've been in this room before. We have re-emerged at the base of the mountain. So now we have a shortcut to the top. Not that we particularly needed one, but whatever. So in the next episode, we're going to take on Desma's Labyrinth after so much procrastinating, so much procrastinating. So uh, I have been will continue to be tessellating hex guns in the next episode, Dungeon Time, for the first time in a while, surprisingly. See you then for that.